KP, why is the Book of Numbers for you so important? Why is it one of your favorite books? Well, for many reasons. One is, you know, in Corinthians, Paul says, all that happened to the people of Israel literally is for us to learn from. Mm. Uh, people, um, this, is, this is extremely important. I mean, for me personally, uh, just to survive leading God's people, reading about Moses and all these people's behavior, everything. Uh, I mean, think about it. 11 days journey stretched to um, nearly 40 years. Mm. Uh, how do you explain that? And then to realize that this is the beginning of the people of God as part of members of his family mm. and how they must live and act and respond and all that. So when we go to the New Testament and see the church and how we should act and behave, um, you know, I mean, this is not two, three people, it's three million people. Mm. Uh, how they all should feel as okay. one individual and be part of the church, um, not outsiders, mm -hmm. and so they can follow God. And I say so much learn from it. Mm -hmm. And um, the more I read it, I used to read it once in six months, just for survival, mm -hmm. so to say, um, in this journey. How wonderful. Yes, 13 months have gone by since the book of, uh, since coming out of Egypt. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is very important for us to have now a look at all this. Why verse one, Paul, do you see here? Why does the book begin in the second month? But then if we look on to, well, actually, chapter 9, verse 1, goes back to the first month. It is an important detail to notice because though they did do the Passover first of all, Moses is saying, hang on. You ca they couldn't understand what they were doing in Passover, this being saved by the Lord, unless they understood the church church community, church life, where they fit in with that. It was like recently I, I met someone who said, oh, I believe in Jesus for salvation, but I don't want any, to, anything to do with church. I don't go to church. Yeah. I had to say to them, I don't believe you are saved because being saved is about mm. being part of this church family. The Lord Jesus died for the church. So back here, Moses is wanting to say, let's be really clear how this church family works and all the people are included and joined together. And then the Passover is clear. The Lord didn't do Passover for lots of individual people. The Passover was for the whole community together. The whole community was delivered out of Egypt and brought to this place. So I, it is like an enduring lesson. And Moses, who's such a brilliant theologian, says, let's get okay. some church things in place first. Then you'll understand how Passover works and how people were involved in that celebration. Yes, this is the book of traveling in the wilderness. And... Actually, when I think about that, what you just said, our key thought today really is everyone in the Church of Christ has a part mm. to play. Mm. I'd like to ask KP a question. I mean, why did the Lord want to make this careful numbering of this ancient church community? Name after name after name, tribe after tribe. Why? Well, I think, you know, think about it. Bride of Christ is a singular term but it's made up of millions and millions of people. And so it, it's the it's, it's, it's most amazing thing that uh, three million people or millions of people, God see them as one. And also one individual is so important to him that he will leave the 99 and go after mm. the one. So an old grandma, 90 year old, or a little child who's five year old, um, they will not say, oh, I'm left out. Nobody cares about me. No, God is saying everyone is important and unique. And this is so if they buy into this reality of belonging to the people of God. Mm -hmm. Indeed. And do you like that, Paul? I love that because so many people today sort of go, I don't know who I am. I don't know where I fit in. I don't know what my life's all about. Join church then you'll be named and numbered and known and the living God, he numbers it in. He doesn't only number you, he numbers all the hair on your head. You're so, he's so important. Wonderful. I mean, I remember once seeing Billy Graham, the evangelist from America, being interviewed by an English interviewer who said to him, in this campaign that you're conducting, 
how many converts do you expect to make? Mm. And you wonder, what might he have answered? You know, 500,000 or what? <laughs> Billy Graham answered, one. Yeah. Just one. He said, if I could just win one people through the Lord to, to him, it would be worth coming. He said, if I could just win you to Jesus Christ, mm. it yeah. would have been worth the trip. Yeah. I thought that was a brilliant, brilliant. answer. What are we doing when we're preaching? One person. Mm. That's it. Absolutely vital.